Oh my goodness, the NFT market is literally going insane right now. I'm excited for you, bro. Y'all about to resell this and make so much fucking bread. All you see are articles of someone flipping an NFT and boom, they make 50k or 100k or maybe even more than that. And all you can do is wonder how are they possibly doing that and are they getting lucky? Does it require skill? Like how can I start making that money as well? And it's not just the physical or I should say digital NFTs that are blowing up. It's literally anything that has to do with NFTs. OpenSea, which is one of the largest marketplaces for NFTs at the beginning of their month had a trading volume of about 3 million dollars and now it's almost 1 billion dollars in just one month that's insane growth and the prices for nfts aren't slowing down either we're seeing the prices that people are willing to pay for nfts rise more and more every single day like oh my goodness yo 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 what is up guys it's your boy Faris, and in today's video i'm going to be going over how you can get a piece of all this nft hype and craze and hopefully you start making all this money that everyone else seems to be making as well but before i do i would love it if you guys could smash that like button subscribe if you guys haven't already i make videos all about money finance crypto so if you guys want videos like this all you have to do is subscribe so you never miss out all right so from what i know there are three key ways you can make money with nfts now i'm sure there are plenty of other ways you can make money with it as well but these are i would say the simplest for the average person to get started with without getting crazy technically advanced but without further ado let's see how you can be the next person in these articles making all this crazy money with nfts so i'm going to assume if you guys are watching this video you already have some basic knowledge about nfts but for those of you that don't an nft stands for non-fungible token what does non-fungible mean it pretty much means it's unique and can be replaced with something else so for example a Bitcoin is fungible. There is one Bitcoin and anyone can trade it and you'll have the same exact thing. Now, on the other hand, a one of one shoe signed by Kobe Bryant is non-fungible. There is only one and you can't trade it for another one. But NFTs can be pretty much anything digital such as drawings, music, pictures, whatever you want as long as it's digital. The big thing with NFTs is ownership. Yes, it's an online picture and you can honestly just save it to your desktop and you'll have a $5 million NFT, but you don't really own it. So it's pretty much worthless. It's kind of like the Mona Lisa. There is only one that holds the true value, but there are plenty of other replicas out there in people's homes that are worth nothing. So the ownership is the big part of NFTs. So how can we make money from all of this? The first way is probably not going to shock many of you guys that are watching this video, but it does have the highest chances of you making a good amount of money with NFTs, but it's by reselling them. So what does that really mean? Pretty much you're going to buy an NFT for let's say $500. Then you're going to go and resell it for $1,500 or whatever amount someone else is willing to pay for it or how much it's worth in the market right now. So how do you do this? Well, there's a couple different routes you can take. You can buy an NFT for resale. So an NFT that someone already owns and is looking to sell it for a profit, you can come in and buy that NFT and hope for the price to go up and sell it and make more money later on. Or instead of paying a resale price to someone else that already owns that NFT, you can go out and get an NFT when they drop for its initial price or retail price. Here, I think it would be better if I compare this to something else that is a lot easier for people to understand. A great comparison is the sneaker reselling market. Now, I would say this is pretty much identical to how NFT reselling works. So you have, let's say, Nike, a well-known brand in the shoe game, and they are dropping a shoe. But there are only a thousand pairs out there, and it's a super unique shoe. So let's say this is about $200. They release the shoe online, and because of the low supply, and the uniqueness of the shoe, it ends up selling out. Because they sold out, there are no more in the world and only the thousand people that bought them have that shoe. Now there is a sense of scarcity for that shoe. It's rare. Only a thousand pairs are out in the world and Nike will never release it again. So what happens? People start to bid to buy these shoes. Someone is willing to pay 400 and someone else is going to be willing to pay 450. People keep bidding one another until there is only one person left to buy that shoe. Or what someone can do instead of bidding, they can set a fixed price. They can say, I don't want to deal with all this. If you want to buy the shoe from me, you have to pay $500, no question asked. Or another route someone can take is that they might believe the shoe will be worth more next year or in a couple of years. So what they do is they won't even plan on selling it right now. They'll just hold on to the shoe and sell when the price rises in the coming years. That's exactly how it is with the NFT market. You have established brands that release these NFTs that are very rare and scarce. So 
people buy them hoping to resell them and make more money from it. So if we look at CryptoPunks for example, they have 10,000 unique characters that are available out in the world and each one is owned by someone. If you want one, you're going to have to go out and buy one on the secondary market and pay a pretty fat premium just to get it. So where can you partake in this action? Well, there are plenty of websites out there that you can do this with right now. The biggest one being OpenSea. You can go on their websites, look around and buy NFTs that you think will go up in value. Also, these websites are always having drops with NFTs. So if you get lucky with one of them and there's a lot of hype behind it, you can make some good money on the resale market. The thing with reselling NFTs is that it requires a lot of research and staying up to date with the market. Knowing things that other people don't know will tremendously help you when making decisions of what NFTs to buy and how much they are actually worth. All right, the second way you can make money with NFTs is by creating one of your own and selling them. Now, you might be asking, how can you create one? Well, that's a good question. First, you have to choose a piece of artwork you want to create, whether it may be a digital painting, a text, a piece of music, a video, whatever it may be. So once you choose what you want to create, you're going to want to choose a blockchain you want to sell this on. Since the majority of all transactions for NFTs happen on the Ethereum blockchain, I'll go with that example for today's video. You're then going to want to create a MetaMask wallet. It's pretty much a Chrome extension that connects your Ethereum wallet. You're going to want to deposit like $50 to $100 in there to cover all the fees associated with everything. Once all that is set, you need a place to sell your NFTs. So you have to look at marketplaces like OpenSea or Rarible, or there's plenty of other ones. They're going to have a button that says create. You're going to walk through the process and list your NFT on that marketplace. Once public, you're just going to sit back, relax, and wait for someone to come buy it for $50,000. Just kidding. If only it was that easy. No one is just going to come buy your NFT because no one knows about it. There's no hype behind it. So you're going to have to build the hype, just like how Logan Paul did. He created a whole bunch of hype behind his NFTs and everyone knew they had to buy them because they will go up in value. That's how he made over $5 million in a single day with NFTs. So how do you do this? If you have social media, that would probably be the easiest way, but for majority of people, they don't. So you're going to have to hit up Discord chats, Reddit groups, and start building hype behind your NFTs. And slowly, some person will come by and speculate on the price and buy it. And you can also set up royalty fees. So anytime someone buys or sells your NFTs in the future, you can get a cut of that for pretty much doing nothing. You know what? I completely forgot to mention the biggest thing. How do you actually create these NFTs? You know, the arts that you see on these websites or these movable pictures. How do you actually create that? The thing is, you're going to have to learn it. It's not just a regular picture from Google. It has a whole bunch of code written behind it. And for the average person, that's not really doable unless you actually want to learn it. But another alternative is our good old friend Fiverr, the place you can get someone else to do things that you can't or you don't want to do. So you can go and pay someone to create an NFT for you and list that on these marketplaces and follow the steps that I just talked about. Finally, coming in in the last way to make money with NFTs doesn't actually have to do with NFTs at all. So if you want to follow the hype but don't really want to get all technical or follow the trends, this way might just be for you. What you can do is buy coins or crypto that have to do with NFTs. That way, if NFTs do well and they continue to rise, these coins will rise up with them as well. So what are these coins? A big one right now is Theta. Currently, it's trading around $7. Theta is pretty much a decentralized video delivery network on its its own blockchain. And it's not just Theta, there are plenty of other coins related to NFTs that you can purchase. There's Decentraland, Engine Coin, Tezos, all of which that do really well when the NFT market is booming. As I said, I think investing in these coins are a great alternative to actually buying and selling or whatever other way there is to make money with NFTs. And it's pretty much tied to the performance of the NFT market. And the best part is you can always just sell these coins and make your money back because there's always buyers for these coins out there. With NFTs, you can buy a piece of art and try to sell it, but if no one is looking to buy that exact piece of art, you pretty much are sitting on nothing because if no one is willing to buy and there's no market for it, it's pretty much worthless. Also, if you guys are interested in buying the coins I just suggested or any other cryptos, I suggest you guys check out crypto.com. They're the number one place where you guys can buy crypto. They have all the top cryptos you guys would ever like to purchase. So if you guys are interested and want to check them out, I'll leave a link to them down in the description box below. So there's quite a different ways you 
you can make money with NFTs and it's a definitely a hot market. So keep that in mind. You can buy a piece of art for like $50,000 and it could be worth zero just the next day. So see which way of making money with NFTs work best with your risk level, but just don't take too long because who knows how long this hype will be here for. But that is it for today's video, guys. Also, I'm curious if any of you guys are in the NFT game and how much you've made from it. And if you want to share your secrets, the comment section is open for you to do. But that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys in next week's video. Peace.